And welcome to another video. Thank you for joining me here. Today, we're actually taking a little road trip. We're going to some theme parks. And yes, I said parks. We're going to all four Disney parks today. Now, I don't exactly live in Florida currently. So, we've got an eight-hour drive ahead of us. Uh, currently, it is just about midnight. And I need to go. So come on, let's go sit back, relax. You don't have to do any driving. I'm gonna do all the driving. Let's go. Alright, so we have finally made it to Florida. Well, I'm well within Florida at this point. I have made my last stop before Disney World um, at Bucky's in Daytona. Now, as a former Texan, I think it would be sacrilegious for me not to stop at Bucky's at least once on this trip. And I had to get myself a big red, which is something that I haven't had since living in Texas. So let's go ahead and take a sip of this and then next stop, Epcot. Welcome to Epcot. I made it after a very long drive that actually took two more hours than originally anticipated. But let's talk about what's gonna happen today. So I made this quick, spontaneous trip uh, and I'm just spending one day here and I'm doing all four parks or I'm gonna try. So I'm starting here in Epcot. I'm able to be here until two o'clock. That's when I can start park hopping. And then I am going to ride Guardians Cosmic Rewind whenever my boarding group gets called, but let's go ride some rides and let's see some food. All right, so I just got off of Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Very cute ride. I don't know if I would wait the 60 minutes that was the standby line. However, with the lightning lane, it was very cute and very enjoyable, but I was able to book a lightning lane for test track immediately after Remy's Ratatouille. So. I'm heading there right now, and I think after we ride Test Track, I'm going to head over to the Refreshment Outpost and get the Spicy Githeri, which is one of my favorites.
bang, bang, boom, just like that. Test track all done. Love that ride. I actually didn't even use my lightning lane. They, uh, the lightning lane was really backed up, but there was nobody in the single rider, so I jumped in there and got right on. Easy peasy. So now I am heading over to the refreshment outpost to get the spicy githeri. Delicious. Let's go. First up to eat today is the spicy githeri that's available at the refreshment outpost. This is something that I've actually had before and it is very delicious. It's plant-based and it is gluten friendly. So a great option for allergy friendly individuals. Now that we're all done eating, I've actually got some time still before my Cosmic Rewind group is called. It's still a few hours. So I booked a lightning lane for Soren. That's coming up here in about 40 minutes. So I think, I think I'm gonna go pay Figment a visit. It's only a 20 minute wait, so let's go waste some time. So I'm leaving Epcot now because park hopping is about to start and I'm gonna head over to Magic Kingdom, try to get a couple rides done. However, it's a pretty good start at Epcot. I got here at about 10 o'clock and within just a couple hours, I was able to ride several of the more popular rides. I had a little snack. I'm still waiting on my return time for Cosmic Rewind, but I did also go ahead and purchase an actual individual lightning lane for Cosmic Rewind as well. I figured why not just get it, ride it twice. So let's go hop on a monorail, swing on over to Magic Kingdom, ride some rides. Well, as you can see, I'm not at the Disney World Resort anymore. <laughs> I actually didn't end up filming the rest of my day. I went over to Magic Kingdom after I left Epcot and I actually ran into an old friend. Honestly, I didn't want to film anything and interrupt just the time I was spending with them. So I just spent the rest of the day with them, but I did just want to finish up this video by letting you know kind of what I did the rest of my day, what I thought. So where we left off when I was actually filming my time at the resort, I was leaving Epcot and I was going over to Magic Kingdom, ran into an old friend, and we just kind of hung out. We rode Space Mountain, uh, we rode People Mover, those are both great, I love those. The People Mover is one of my favorite rides at the, at the resort. And then my Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind boarding group got called about an hour and a half before it was saying it was gonna estimate me being able to ride. And I have got to say that is, um, that is an experience. That is a unique sensation on that ride. I love roller coasters. That type of roller coaster is not one that I've ridden before. I've never ridden one where the actual car spins. That was very interesting. The videos online, they don't really do it any justice. It's a dark ride, so the quality of the videos may not be the best. It's shaking, everything like that. I just didn't realize how big the physical set pieces and the screens actually were within this ride. Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, great ride. Amazing addition to Epcot, I love it. I ended up buying an individual lightning lane pass. I ended up riding it a second time with my friend that was there as well. So that was awesome. When I wrote it the two different times, I did end up getting two different songs. I got September and Tears for Fears. Really, really, really liked Tears for Fears better. So after I got off Cosmic Rewind the first time, I decided it was time to eat first. Uh, we made a stop at Earth Eats and I got the Impossible Meatball 
dish and it had a little bit of crushed meatball on it on top of a bed of polenta. That was great, really awesome. I had the slider there last year and that was also really great. So I'd highly recommend Earth Eats. After we ate there, we continued back through World Showcase and I made a stop at the Ireland booth. I had the Fisherman's Seafood Pie. Now this is something I had last year and I absolutely loved it, the flavor of it. It has a lot of shrimp in it, a lot of scallops in it. From there, we hopped onto the Skyliner and took a flight over to Hollywood Studios. When we got off there, we jumped on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It'll be great for Disneyland to get that when they have that next year. From there, we took a ride on Tower of Terror. For anybody who is weary about Tower of Terror, you think it might be a lot. It isn't as bad as you might think it is. I think also being inside of the contained elevator shaft really helps. I definitely highly recommend giving it a try, even if you're a little bit nervous about doing it. Just do it, you'll love it. If you don't love it, you don't have to ride it again. The lightning lanes were getting a little bit more difficult to actually grab. We ended up just waiting in the standby line for Rise of the Resistance, which took, I believe it was uh, almost an hour and a half. So we waited for Rise of the Resistance. Fortunately, everything was working in the ride, so that was great. Love that ride. My friend that I actually met up with had been there a few days, and he said that the first day he was there and they tried to ride Rise of the Resistance, they waited about an hour and then the ride broke down and they had to leave. I, I just, it's so unreliable. I can't put it at the top of my list, but it is up there. It is a great ride, extremely immersive. At that point, it was basically coming to the end of our day. We had our individual lightning lane purchase for Cosmic Rewind coming up. So we returned over to Epcot. We hopped on Cosmic Rewind again. I think it is time for Disney to just drop the virtual queue of Cosmic Rewind. The only people going into Cosmic Rewind were individual Lightning Lane purchases. The virtual queue lottery system that Disney has been using for these new rides, nobody was entering the ride through the boarding groups. And I think that is sad to see that for the last two hours that the park is open, nearly no one is riding this ride. It just kind of sucks because I would have ridden it so many more times if I could have. And for anybody that wants to buy the individual lightning lanes, fine. Open up the standby line at that point. I mean, my friend and I, we were the only two people sitting in the entire train. For such a new ride, there shouldn't be a completely wide open train on the ride. It's just ridiculous. And after we got off Cosmic Rewind, we grabbed some drinks and some food and we grabbed a spot for Harmonious. It is probably going to be the last time that I get to see Harmonious. I'm in the minority that really loves Harmonious. I think it is a great show. I love that the different songs are being sung in their native languages. I think it is visually just beautiful and impressive. I really don't mind the barges. I think that when you are in World Showcase, your focus should be within the different pavilions. A lot of the people that complain about it, I get it. I understand the complaints, but I think look into the pavilions, enjoy the pavilions themselves. And as the crowds exit, we just left and I got back into my car realizing I forgot to film the rest of the day. The drive back was fine, dark, just like the drive up. I definitely recommend if there's anybody out there that is considering going to Disney World alone, by yourself, if you can and if you feel safe enough, do it. I wouldn't say it's affordable, but it is easier to swallow than going with an entire family. You don't have to worry about what else anybody else wants to do when anybody else wants to leave. So if you are an individual that wants to go to Disney World by yourself, if you want to go to Universal by yourself, if you want to go to any theme park by yourself, I highly recommend that you do it and enjoy that experience. And with that, I hope you enjoyed my tiring, tiring experience of going to Disney World but the important thing is that I made it back. I am safe. I did not catch any illnesses while I was there. Who knows when I'll do it again. Stay tuned. I have other theme parks to go to, other things to do, other things to talk about. 
Let me know what you think. What is your favorite thing to do at the Disney World parks? What is the favorite thing to eat at the Food and Wine Festival? Leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified and you're up to date with all the videos that I make. Thank you very much. See you real soon. Thank you.